So, breaking down the Jake Paul and Tyron Woodley fight. Fuck, you guys. Shit is kind of annoying, like. But breaking down the Tyron Woodley and Jake Paul fight. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. But the fight with Jake Paul and Tyron Woodley. I just watched their face off with Ariel Hilwani. Shout out to Ariel Hilwani. He does a tremendous job. Um. I just watched the way in and I just saw the face off, the interview with Ariel. Bro, it's fucking hilarious that the dude gave him a Rolex watch the day before he has to whoop his ass or fight him. But honestly, I feel like picking Tyron Woodley. For this fight, like honestly, Tyron Woodley, that fight is like super. I'm picking Tyron. I'm picking Tyron to win, guys. I mean, that's who I'm thinking. Now. Does Woodley have a chance? Of course. I mean, he's a five-time UFC world champion. I mean, of course he has a chance. But, but um, man. It's going to be a good fight. But honestly, the first fight was kind of boring, though, right? No knockout. The only round that I can say was interesting was the fourth round. And I don't know if I agree with the assumption that somehow Tommy Fury is an easier fight than Tyron Woodley. I don't know. That's tough. That's a tough assumption to make. How? I get it. I mean, the guy's more awkward. He's a UFC fighter. But you already fought him before. But Tommy Fury, honestly, I can see both sides of the coin. Tommy Fury hasn't really fought anyone good. And he went the full distance with a with a UFC fighter that was fighting on the undercard. So I just don't think that Tommy is super Yeah, I guess. I mean Tyra Woodley's probably more dangerous for sure. If you look at it from that perspective, but the other side would say, oh but Tommy Fury is a boxer an actual boxer that's what he does but he's a model he's he's an instagram girl guy he's an instagram guy he's not a fighter like tyson fury tyson fury is like no he, he's a real fighter jake paul i mean i don't know if he's a real fighter is he <laughs> i mean he boxes and he fights against opponents that are sanctioned with the commission but is he really a, a fighter that fights the best, though? Look at the opponents that Jake Paul has fought. No, no, not Jake Paul, but uh, what's his name? Tommy Fury. Look at the opponents Tommy Fury fought. Some of the guys have losing records. Some of the guys have three-digit losses. So, I mean, no disrespect to those guys, you know. I don't know them. They seem like cool dudes, you know, but, I don't know, man, stuff is crazy, 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 <laughs> do I like Jake Paul, I mean, he's cool, he's a cool character, he's just a social media character, I mean,
most of the stuff you see on social media is not real, guys. Let's not play into this thing that, oh, I'm so mad he did this. Dude, Jake Paul's not a real guy. He's a social media guy. He's real, but he's social media. He's a boxer, but I still like watching his fights, and he's pretty entertaining. And that's what we're all here for. Are we not here on YouTube to be entertained? Is that not what we're here for on YouTube? Is to be entertained. Entertainment. And that's why we're all here. Or am I wrong? Huh? I mean, if you really think about it, If you really think about it, guys, just really think about it for a second and stop putting the hater hat on. Stop bitching and complaining. And stop having jealousy. That's another thing that I gotta talk about. Why are you guys so jealous of Jay Paul, man? That dude is, he, he, he got to where he got to because of you guys. You guys supported the channel. You guys supported his YouTube channel. You guys watched the videos, so you guys contributed to it, and then you complain about what you watch, and then you complain about that person that you watch and that you helped grow their channel, and then you complain about it. So why'd you help them? Why'd you help them grow their channel? Exactly, man. Like you guys, I, I don't know. Always complaining about one thing after the other. Misery loves company, right? Makes no sense. I get it, you want to see him lose, but what does that add to your life? Does that make your life more exciting? Do you get more money? I mean, are you betting on the fight? No, I can understand if you're betting on the fight. If you're betting on Tyron Williams, you want him to lose. Okay, cool. You're betting on the fight. Cool. If you're not betting on the fight, and you're just hating just to hate, why are you wasting your time and your energy hating? It makes, it just doesn't make any sense to me. I don't understand it. I truly don't understand it. Maybe there's something I'm missing. Maybe I'm not fully... <sighs> Internet is a weird place, man. Very strange place, huh? It's not real life either, for sure. No, it's not. If you meet a hater in public, they're going to want to take a picture with you. They're not going to talk shit. They're going to want a picture. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's how they respond. They don't bring the same energy that they talk online. They say, oh, can I take a picture with you? Oh, okay, I love your fights, man. I'm a big fan. They don't come confront you, no. They're scared. They're keyboard guys, right? So, you know. Keyboard warrior. <laughs> yeah.